definitely try this at home. I'm a pro. Product reviews are back from Spike Studio, this time with the Jot Pro from Adonit. It's the stylus to beat. Everybody, a quick product review. This is the Adonit Jot Pro. We do a lot of styluses, as we always say. This one came in, and I'm loving it. Uh, we'll talk about a few of the features up close and take a look at the video screenshot here. Basically, a couple different colors. This is their second generation uh, one piece with an unscrewable cap. We'll take a look in the close-up video. So let's jump to that, then we'll come back here and finish up. So here we are in the close-up mode, and everyone always asks, well, what apps do you pick, first of all? So let's take a look. I'll just point them out. Uh, real quick while we can. I use Note Shelf, I use Notify, I use Pen Ultimate, uh, I use Brainstorm, Bamboo Paper, DrawPad, Adobe Ideas. I use a whole bunch of them. So everyone wants to know is, uh, you know, how well does this stylus actually work? And as you can see with the backlighting really now, it has a very tiny tip that's surrounded by a plastic disc. This disc is what everyone's talking about that possibly could break or whatever. Well, yeah, if you leave it open and don't use the cap that seals off the end, which we can show at the end, yeah, you will get some breakage. But overall, it's easy enough. Touch the screen, it's fully touched. It has a nice rubber area here at the top, which we'll show in the picture that you already saw earlier. And we got a clean paper. What's good about this is the way that you can work with very fine writing as compared to the normal rubber tips. You know, you can see through it. You see it's clear. So it has that tiny dot in the middle, which makes it more like a pen. So if we take a look at it, and we'll see some handwriting here just a real quick. What you're able to see is some very fine handwriting compared to the normal rubber ones. The normal ones with the big rubber tips actually leave a big smudge mark or whatever it is across the top and they're hard to get fine printing. But with this one, what we can actually do is get very fine printing that we want on there. Uh, what else what I liked about it was the weight and the feel of it is much like a pen. It balances well when you put the cap on the end. If you don't put the cap that's on the end and you leave it unscrewed, the part that covers this, well, it's a little bit unbalanced. So that's what they built it for was the cap on the end. Now, one thing I want to point out, some people have said that they've noticed as they've used this over time, it's left little micro scratches on the screen because they get something trapped between that little clear disc there and their screen. Screen protector. I mentioned it a minute ago. I'll mention it again probably before this is over. You need to have a screen protector on your device because no matter what you do between this little tip and the and your uh, screen that's built into the iPad, you could get little micro scratches when you're looking at it without the backlight on. So there you saw it. I love this thing. Uh, we talked a little bit about the tip that's on it. We talked about the storage capability. We talked about the magnet piece of it to keep it with the newer iPads that have the magnet sides for the smart cover type things. If you have a smart cover, it's useless. One of the things I want to point out, make sure you get a screen protector on there. Uh, I always run a screen protector in all mine. Forget the native retina thing. I always use an anti-glare. I want to be able to block all the light that's around. So. Follow the link, easy enough. It is I do notes or bit.ly, either way you wanna look at it, slash Jot Pro, all lowercase, and get your hands on it. Under 30 bucks, uh, it is now my new favorite one, and until something happens to the tip that people have talked about, I'm gonna keep recommending it. Once it breaks, you'll see me update the review. It's another product review from Spike Studios. 